Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion we're off to the Spencer Street station which has now become the Southern Cross station. Spencer Street station was opened in 1859, five years after the other major Melbourne railway terminus at Flinders Street. The station was a dead end terminus running parallel to Spencer Street, composed of a single main platform with a dock platform at the north end. It was not until 1874 that an extra platform was provided. The two major city stations, Flinders Street and Spencer Street, were not linked until 1879, when a single track ground level line was opened. It opened only at night and only for freight trains. In the 1880s, it was proposed that Spencer Street station be removed in order to facilitate a westward expansion of the city, but the plan was subsequently rejected. From 1888 to 1894, the layout of the platforms was altered, with new country platforms being built on an angle to Spencer Street itself. The current coach or bus terminal location was the site of a number of new platforms built for suburban services. In 1891, further plans were made for a significant new station complex, including three-storey office complex and a dominant clock tower, reminiscent of the late Sydney Central Station. But the 1890s depression put an end to such expensive schemes. In 1888, work started on the double-track Flinders Street Viaduct, linking the station to Flinders Street Station. The line was initially only used by freight trains, with passenger train operations commencing in 1894. It was at this time that the first through platform was provided at the station, used by suburban trains from Essendon and Williamstown. The viaduct to Flinders Street was expanded to four tracks in 1915 and, following the electrification of suburban lines through the station, today's platforms 11 to 14 were opened in 1924, only with the pedestrian subway providing access to them. In 1938, it was announced that construction of an improved station entrance and new car park had been approved, designed by architects Messrs. Stevenson and Meldrum, costing £2,000. But once again, however, no construction took place. In October 1960, work on the new Spencer Street station commenced, sparked by the construction of the interstate standard gauge line to Sydney. A station building was constructed, which largely replaced the 1880s iron sheds, and a new 413 metre or 1,355 feet platform number one was built. The passenger subway, which had been constructed as part of the 1918 works, was extended to include access to country platforms. In connection with the construction of the underground loop, platforms 9 and 10 were built as part of the suburban section of the station, and a new double-track viaduct was constructed between Spencer Street and Flinders Street Station along the original one, bringing the six the number of tracks connecting the two stations. In 1962, a separate subway network was constructed to carry mail between the station and what was then the Melbourne General Post Office and Main Postal Sorting Office, situated at the other end of Spencer Street. The mechanical interlocked signal box at the station opened in 1887 and was decommissioned in June 2008. Originally built with 120 levers, it had 191 when it closed, making it the world's largest. Spencer Street Station became Southern Cross Station in 2006. By July 2004, the project had fallen behind schedule and over budget by $200 million. The station was renamed from Spencer Street to Southern Cross on the 13th of December 2015 and completed by late 2006 in time for the Commonwealth Games. When you do arrive at the Southern Cross Railway Station, in particular if you enter by the 
Spencer Street and Collins Street end, you will notice an historic water tower clock. Now, in May 2014, the historic water tower clock was installed in the concourse of the station. The clock had originally been erected in 1882 at Flinders Street Station, opposite the end of Elizabeth Street, atop the lattice tower, about 60 feet or 18 metres high. In 1902, the clock was moved to Princess Bridge Station, and in 1910, it was relocated again to Spencer Street Station, where it remained until it was removed as part of the station's redevelopment in the mid-1960s. The clock mechanism was given to Museum Victoria, but the characteristic turret that housed the clock was sold to a scrap metal merchant. It was later rescued by private collectors, and the clock was returned to public ownership, being put on display in 1999 at the Science Works Museum, Spotswood. The clock was extensively restored before its return to Southern Cross, but the original mechanism remains in the collection of Museum Victoria. And without further ado, let's wander around Southern Cross Station, Melbourne, Victoria.
So here we are nearing the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a bit of fun checking out all the old photos that I could find in relation to the Spencer Street station. And there wasn't really too much I could find on the uh, Southern Cross station because most of it had a copyright overlay. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, by all means, give us that thumbs up or hit that like key. Uh, and please subscribe. Subscribe doesn't cost you one cent, but it really does help this channel immensely. But most importantly, once again, stay safe, commute safe, and have a great day.